Here's your weather on the threes. Well, temperatures across Acadiana are starting out in the 40s with 30s over the northern sections and temps are going to quickly drop. I want to show you one of those DOTD webcams up around Shreveport and was showing you this one here where the roadway is actually closed and you can see this is the 220 uh, as you get over the lake there and you can see without any traffic going along, you do end up having the roadway completely covered with snow and they're going to have a couple three inches of snow there before all is said and done. Let's go back over to the weather computer now and that's the reason why we have winter storm warnings up toward Shreveport and winter weather advisories coming from the rest of the state. Now if you're waking up and you're saying, oh, I was right. I got the weather forecast. There's no snow out there. Just give it a little while because the temperatures are going to be tumbling and we've been talking about this being more of a afternoon, early evening type of thing. So we still have time before all this is going to start to come in. Now the roadways will have some issues. They're already getting wet out to the west and those temperatures are starting to tumble across Acadiana. In fact, we've seen some of the temperatures go anywhere from 40 down to about 29 in a matter of just three hours. And if you get any moisture on the roadways there, uh, you will see that freezing and that could cause some problems on bridges and overpasses along the I 10 quarter. We're going to be OK through the mid morning hours and then those temperatures are going to fall fairly quickly and that's at the same time the precip is going to be rolling in. We're at 46. We'll get an update from the airport here in just a little bit, probably only a little bit of a drop, but the big drops going to be coming in later this morning and we think more of the precip issues are going to be a little bit later this afternoon. So be patient. Stuff is coming a little bit later on with those blustery northerly winds. 44 in Welsh, 46 here in Lafayette, 41 over in Church Point. We've got the windy conditions that will settle in as well as the colder air filters into the region. Those winds at times up to 30 miles per hour could produce wind chills in the upper teens. Snow is falling in Shreveport. Snow is falling now in Natchitoches and over toward Lufkin. We've got a mixed right now uh, area of rain, sleet and snow from Alexandria over to around Fort Polk. There will be a brief period where we could see some freezing rain as that cold air kind of digs in under the warmer air. So the rain falls liquid and stays liquid. It doesn't have enough time to freeze until it hits the ground. And when it lands on something metal or your car or fences or anything on the surface, bridges and overpasses, it freezes on contact and that's where you have the icy conditions. But that layer of cold air is going to deepen fairly quickly. So we'll change over to sleet and snow over the next several days. Uh, several hours with rain out there through the nine o'clock time period changing over to snow by the time it reaches the I-10 quarter here around midday and then snows will continue along I-10 and southward through the afternoon drive with the possibility of up to a half an inch of snow before it all winds down later this evening. So everything falling from the sky there, starting with rain, then a wintry mix, then changing over to snow. I wouldn't be surprised to see upwards of an inch of snow in some cases before it all winds down. We'll be at 37 by mid morning, 21 tomorrow morning, 21 again Thursday morning, pipe bursting cold. Temperatures will gradually climb back into the 60s to near 70 by the time we reach the weekend. Right now it's 656.